the, the hotel has 205 guest rooms, which is not a huge hotel. Um, but our intent was to make the building feel you know, spacious and gracious and always bigger than it needs to be to satisfy the number of rooms. You know, a hotel would need about 10 feet to have a door and a side door to get into a building. That's all you'd need. But what we wanted to do throughout the project was activate the street, just bring some life to the street. In the 1860s, this building was built. Uh, there were party walls, brick walls, every 20 feet, 25 feet, all the way through here, all the way through four stories up. And over the years, um, the walls are being removed, being demolished, being pulled apart. Um, so really, there actually there isn't, there isn't that much remnants of the old building here. Johnson Bank is on the other side of this wall here. All we need in this space, a few things. We want to have a um, a um, a restaurant that would be a destination restaurant, and not just the Marriott's hotel restaurant. So. The opportunity we had here is um, because we have Wisconsin Avenue frontage and this old building is to give this restaurant its own identity. So from the, from the lobby through the portal you'll see the whole restaurant and the bar. So this is, a, this is about 5,500 square feet and um, during the whole debate about the project there was a discussion about whether the, the tower should have a setback or not. Basically some people wanted the, the tower to be pulled 15 feet this way. And the edge of the tower above us is right, right here. Up, this is, there's a roof above us on this portion. That whole line would come here, and the room just would have got a lot smaller, uh, which makes a big difference in just how many people can eat in here, and how many people can sleep upstairs. So that was uh, that was a, a big discussion point on the project. Um, and then generally, you wouldn't need as much of a ceiling in any of these spaces. But again, just to make the space feel a little more spacious than it has to be, we raise the ceiling, we raise the, the, the roof, basically. It still fits in, I think, great in the neighborhood. But it just gives us a bit more breathing space in the, in the ballrooms. We've we'll got chandeliers in here, the like wall covering is going up. They're hanging the doors, literally, right now. Before the windows were in, before there were any other walls in on these floors, we built out two rooms with towels and flowers and everything else so that the design team, the project team, ownership could come through here and say I don't know, raise that by an inch, move it across by an inch. So if most of the other hotels have got a pool, we want to have a pool. It doesn't need to be a large pool because little Johnny's going to be jumping around here and splashing and that's okay. Um, but we can say that we have a pool. When we started the demolition, we didn't know to what extent the, the existing conditions would be in. The floors were terrible. The walls, in some cases, were pretty good, so in the restaurant we could expose those things. In some areas like this, you know, it's interesting, but for the level of hotel that we have as a Marriott hotel, it wasn't appropriate in every condition to have, you know, that look in there. During the whole debate, the question was, do we save the building? Do we rebuild the facade? Do we build it back there? There's a whole, you know, discussion in my own head as far as what to do and then of course what to build for the project um, and what we've done is we're keeping the, the 1930s aesthetic on the outside for these few bays of, of space and then uh, the one that's closest to Johnson Bank is like it was back in the 1860s and then we found examples of, of we found photographs from the 1930s of a big blade sign that was on the outside of the building to promote the uh, women's wear store that was in here um, so we're going to put a blade sign back up there for the uh, for the restaurant, which is you know it's a, it's a small thing, but it's a it's in reference to the to the history of the project, and also it gives us a big banner for the for the restaurant.